Hey there, thanks for joining me. My name's Jenny, and I have been a lifelong shopper at thrift stores. I've resold many items online or through consignment stores, and I'm about to open up my first resale booth, so I'm going to show you one of my recent thrift hauls to get ready to stock my booth. This was a haul that I went on with my daughter. Um, I hope you watched that video. Um, she's a teacher, so she does purchase a lot of items at thrift stores as well, especially clothes. Um, so I'm going to start off with one of the stores we went to. It's called the Discovery Shop. And the Discovery Shop is a resale store that um, gets donated items, and then all the proceeds go to American Cancer Society. The other great thing, when we walked in, it was the last week of the month, so everything was 50% off, so that tells you how quickly they turn around their inventory. So, I mean, right, a great idea. It's all there to help the American Cancer Society, and the stock is just amazing. It's all very high level, um, good quality items. So one item I had to pick up right away is this pottery vase. Look at this ruffle around the collar. And then I love the gray and there it is. The, all the different tones of like mauve and burgundy in this vase. So this was, I thought this was a great pickup. Then I found a Stangle Pottery Dish. Now this one isn't highly sought after. There's not a lot of value in this, but I love Stangle Pottery. So if this one doesn't sell, I have no problem holding on to this. There is a small flaw in the paint. It almost looks like maybe something got under the glaze. Um, but yeah, I, I like I said, I love Stangle. This is, I believe, the Golden Grapes pattern. And um, just a great little pickup for $5. $5 for Stangle Pottery. So this I'm going to show you. And um, I'm not gonna post this video till after it happens. But we are throwing a surprise 60th birthday party for one of our friends, one of our dear friends. Happy birthday, you know who you are, Benny. Anyway, I'm in charge of the desserts and for $3, I found a cupcake tier. You know, I couldn't buy a cardboard one for $3 and that would just get thrown away. So this, even if I use it once for her party and hold on to it for a while and decide I'm not gonna use it again, this can go back to a um, donation somewhere. So $3 um, for a great display piece for her cupcakes. Um, couldn't say no to that. Okay, I need a place to put this. Um, other item, I mean, this is just kind of an ordinary little creamer, but I love the blue. Um, on my shelves, I kind of picture like a shelf that I'm going to call Kitchen Kitsch with things of different colors, um, more of like maybe a mid-century vibe, a little bit different than the rest of the booth because, you know, you pick up really cute kitchen items. But, you know, this was a dollar and it was in great shape. There's nothing wrong with this. So, and then this is actually a candle plate for the White Barn Candle Company. But um, gosh, you put a candle in there and you hide the cute rooster. So I thought this would just be great on an easel and with the little bit of a um, tear petal still here. You know, that would be really cute to sit up straight in an easel. I love the green, I love these muted colors. I mean, this is kind of a vintage green. I know this isn't very old, but this is kind of the green that I, I love and I think looks great, almost as a neutral. I think this is almost a neutral green. I'm put this over here. And then, oh, found this really cute Cats and Books. Oh, that's ring light. Cats and Books book. One of my shelves is going to have like a pet theme and um, the pictures. Look how sweet this is. So this was just too cute to not pass up and I don't know too many people that like cats and and that don't like cats and don't like books or like books and don't like cats I mean cats and books they do go together there's nothing like Mr. Cuddles sitting on your lap as you're reading a book and then I'll show you the last thing that I got at Legacy Thrift I keep saying Legacy Thrift Discovery Shop it was just a cute fun summer shirt for me so I bought clothing for myself too um 
But I said this was a cute, fun summer throw over my bathing suit. I have a camper out at a lake um, that I stay in a lot of times in the summertime. So this is just a great cover up to then run off to the restaurant after the beach. Okay, um, another store we went to was a Goodwill up in Kalamazoo and I didn't buy a lot there. I did buy this really nice, large recycled glass plate. This is heavy. This is only um, $3.99. But you know, this is just a great piece to have in the summertime with your candles or the things that you find at the beach, your rocks, your glass, your driftwood, um, you know, surrounding it or a couple of candles. But just, you know, I think everybody loves is drawn to this like beach green glass color. Then a couple other things that I bought. Um, so, so this is one of the frames that I am looking for. I would never resell this. This isn't like really good quality, but um, one of the frames I'm looking for for my shelves. So my plan is to kind of post the little signs for each of my shelves. So this would be Kitchen Kitsch. So I thought that was a um, perfect for what I was looking for and kind of envisioned in my head. And um, yeah, for a couple of bucks, that was something I had to get. And then I keep telling myself, don't buy any more frames, but look at the size, the, the girth of this monster. Um, and I love that it's square. It's really pretty wood. I don't, I'm not for sure if I'm going to repaint this one because I do love the wood. And again, it can be sat on a table or it can be hung up. So very versatile pit, um, picture frame. And then the last item, like I said, I didn't get very much at this Goodwill. But the um, <laughs> these are so cute. And the cashier named these the cookies and cream cups. Aren't those sweet little cups though? I love the size. And she's right. It does kind of look like cookies and cream ice cream and 59 cents. So I thought those were really sweet. You know, like think of those like hung up on a, um, like a mug rack, especially if there's one that doesn't have a lot of space. So couldn't pass those up for 59 cents. All right. I'm going to show you my tiny haul from the Goodwill I went to without my daughter. And if you go back and look at that video, you will see that the shelves were bare. I am not exaggerating. The shelves were bare. So I was was very excited that I was able to snag a couple of items. Um, first thing I wanna show you, and I wanna get your opinion. I picked up these three pots. I'm not wild about the color. Here's these two have like an embellishment. They're all about the same size. And I thought it would be here. I can pick them all up. They're heavy. So I thought it would be nice to paint them all a similar color or same color. So what has your experience been in painting over like a shiny glaze? What do you use um, that will hold up outside? And what color would you like to see these in? So I'd love to hear your comments. Give me your suggestions. I'm open to them. And then the other item I found at that Goodwill, or excuse me, it was a Salvation Army, it wasn't a Goodwill, was this giant green planter. So the planter section had some good finds. Love the green, love this little bright um, green and black detail around the rim. Very dirty, so um, someone used it. But this was a $7 pot, which is not bad for pots or planters. I mean, if you know pots and planters are really expensive. So, you know, it's just, if we can make them prettier and still um, offer them at a good price, I think that these will be good sellers in the booth. Okay, before I picked my daughter up, I ran into a Goodwill. I only had half an hour, but I came away with some pretty good hauls. One thing I'm so excited to show you is this giant vintage lamp. Look at the shade. The shade is in perfect condition. And the reason I was so excited about this lamp is from the same Goodwill, I bought an ugly, lumpy chair. And I'm in the process of refinishing the chair, but I had already refinished the seat cushion. 
and this was the color. How great is that together? What a good vignette that's going to make in my booth. So um, I didn't film this because lamps are always on the top shelf. And as a short girl, it is hard to get up there and film lamps. So other things that I found at this Goodwill was the super cute um, rooster three department, three compartment <laughs> for silverware tray. And I love the chicken wire. And I mean, this was a nice, solid, heavy piece. And you wouldn't even have to do silverware. You could do like your old utensils or maybe like napkins. Um, if you have a chicken bathroom or a country bathroom, this would fit well on the back of the toilet um, with like things you need for the bathroom. And frame, nice little white frame, just a good size. Um, I love the different levels on the outside. Of course, it's a little scuffed up, but nothing that about 50 cents worth of paint can't fix. Sorry, I keep messing with my hair. I worked all day, so I've got worked all day here going on right now. Um, and then another big white frame, um, nice size. And um, this will be nice too, painted. It just, there's a couple little holes, little wood filler in here, but um, you know, for two bucks, coat of paint on that that will make a nice frame with the right piece of artwork in there and then I'm going to show you some other items I got look at these super cute mid-century salt and pepper shakers so tiny but I just love these um, the stoppers are both there and when I opened them up like nothing came out, so I don't know if these are actually ever used, but isn't that, aren't those great pieces? They were $6, they were a little pricey, but you know, for that mid-century modern, I couldn't pass them up. Something in such pristine shape that that's old, had to get. And then, this was a little 59 center, but just look at that little dainty cute tea bag holder or gum holder. So I love the blue flowers on there. And then just a couple glass jars. This will get a nice coat of black matte paint to update this jar, 99 center. So that was a nice, easy little project fix. A um, couple of glass bottles that need a little of tension. This has some kind of artwork or something on it that can be scraped off. And then this one, um, I don't know what this is around it, some kind of rivets, but I think, oh, it sure can. Ugh. Okay, this can be peeled off and soaked. And um, I have a lot of beach glass, so I was thinking, because we're close to summer will be here, is to fill these up with beach glass and put some kind of like pressed or preserved flowers out of there. Because not everybody has access to beach glass like I do in the summertime. And then this cute little piece, um, the poor pig's wheels are missing. So either I'll pop this off, pop these wheels off, do some wood filler, or maybe I'll just um, glue some buttons, like matching buttons here. So it just needs a, a fix, a little fix, a little paint job. But look at that little chubby pig. I had to save it from the shelf. And then this item was kind of, it's kind of a cheaper um, soap container but the reason I picked this up is not because of this it's because of this so this will get repainted and then used towards the back of my shelves as risers so items can let's go this way because that's distracting <laughs> so items can go in front and you can reach items in the back without having to move items to get to um, other items so I thought that was something that would be a good pickup for $1.99 and then I got this, oh, hold on, we'll go to this first. Just a couple of letters, some big letters, a D and an S. Um, might do something a little different with them. I'm not sure about this, like, brown with the gold. There can be something, I'm sure, a little bit more exciting to do with letters. And I don't know if letters sell. I have quite a few, so we'll, we'll put them in a, a um, bin or a basket and see if they move. And then this idea, 
I don't know, do you watch Flea Market um, Rescue? Um, I always say her name backwards, Kelly Sherry. So I love Flea Market Rescue and the other um, YouTuber, flipper, thrifter that I watch is Ginger Chick Rehab, both also from Michigan. So I think that's why I'm very drawn to their videos. But anyway, in Flea Market um, Rescue, um, they took really beautiful, like old silver um, silverware pieces and put them in a shadow box. So I'm gonna do this with a little bit of a twist. And I actually found these like mid-century modern, very sleek, whole set, just one set. And I thought to mount them into this shadow box and um, it's gonna be painted. So um, I just thought that would be kind of a cool twist for my kitchen kitsch shelf. Um, so mount them something like, well, they'd be, you know, properly aligned, but something like that. So I got that idea from Kelly Sherry. And then when I saw these, I was on the hunt for a shadow box. And it's just funny how easy it is when you have something in your mind to, to go find exactly what you're looking for. So thank you to her for that idea, for her and her friends. She's so fun to watch. So, um, you know, maybe I will videotape and um, share the process of this with you and um, see how it turns out. So thank you so much for joining me for this thrifting haul. This was again, the haul that I went on with my daughter. Um, if this is your first time here, I would appreciate a like or subscribe. And if you're coming back, I'm so excited that you came back to watch again. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, or what else you'd like to see. So until next time, thank you.